Hello, Lewis and Altura Track and Field fans. Time for another Senior Spotlight. Um, this is our way of, um, with the weird 2020 season, our way that the seniors can pass on their wisdom, knowledge, experience, their, their cultural attitudes onto um, the underclassmen and, and everyone involved um, with Lewis and Altura Track and Field. Um, today we have a unique one. We get a chance to sit down and talk to Zach Dresselhaus. Uh, he's also joined by his, his sister, uh, freshman Caitlin Dresselhaus, in the video. Um, Zach has unique experience because he's been involved with um, sports before, but this is his first time ever out for track and field, and so he got a couple days worth, um, but yet has some, uh, some I think, just incredible overall insight to share with us um, about just an experience as a, as a high school athlete or just as a high schooler in general and, and taking advantage of those opportunities. Okay, without further ado, uh, Zach Dresselhaus. Hey, welcome, Lewis and Altura track and field fans. We're moving on um, with our senior spotlights here. Um, today we're going to talk to um, senior Zach Dresselhaus, who's joined by his sister as well, who was out for track this year. Um, how are you guys doing today? We're doing good. Yeah, no, pretty well. Okay. All right. Um, what exactly have you guys been up to during the quarantine? Anything fun or just schoolwork? Mainly schoolwork, but we find time to do fun stuff, like go outside, play games inside, go out for walks. Yeah, you know, we've been walking our dogs a bit, just playing with family and whatnot, watching movies. We can go on hikes as well, like up to Garvin. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we've been, we've been lucky that we've had really good weather. I think it would be, um, I think it'd be pretty miserable if it was really cold and snowy out all the time. Uh -huh. Nice to get outside. Um, okay, hey, for both of you, um, this is this is going to be your first year of track. Um, what was it that made you decide that you wanted to come out for track this year? I just wanted to try something new. That's something I've been doing a lot in my senior year. Like I went out for play. Okay. Signed up for track. I was going to go to prom this year, but um, I also wanted to get healthier, like get more fit. Okay. Yeah, for me, mainly, <coughs> sorry. For me, mainly it's because hockey. This might have been my last year, so I kind of want to get into a new sport. Okay. I also wanted to get into, like a running sport to just get more in shape, get more ready for future stuff. And who knows, maybe I'll do it for more years. There you go. And now, Zach, you played hockey too, right? Okay. Is hockey, local hockey, does that stop at age? Is it 16 is the cutoff? Yeah, for Winona. But again, I went to Rochester. So. Okay. I got you. Um, no, perfect. Those are, those are two. Those are definitely great reasons to come out for track. Um, hey, like I said, you weren't – we didn't get uh, a whole lot of time to, to work together from a track and field experience. Um, I'm I'm really excited you decided to come out, and I like what you said about your senior year, trying to take advantage of some of these opportunities. I think that's a great idea to try to do that while while we can. Um, did you have a memory in the few days that we had together that kind of stood out as um, something you might remember from track? I know it was only a couple of days. Yeah, um, there was more encouragement than I thought there would be. Okay. Like everyone was really nice. Like. A, a couple of people I, I can um, recite are Colton, Sam, Kate, and Mr. Elaine Heisen. They were encouraging me, encouraging me on at some points, and I really appreciated it. I've okay. never had that happen to me before, mainly in hockey. Okay. The only other sport I've ever done, except baseball, but that was like first grade. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, for me, the first day of track was like a little nerve wracking, but like, oh, yeah. everyone was really welcoming. Like in hockey, it's kind of hard to get into it because everyone like on the team is already like a little French group. Mm. But like for track, kind of like everyone is just one big French group. But like you also have your smaller French group. It's very good. Good. Uh, so with, Go ahead. Um, I, with, I knew the people, so that made it a little easier as well yeah. to like talk to them, get comfortable. Well, good. I'm glad you feel that way. That, that's I, I like hearing those things. That's kind of our goal is to make people feel welcome, like you were saying there. Um, Okay, so we, we had that, um, and maybe maybe you guys can speak from a hockey perspective because um, we didn't get into too many different workouts here, but is there a, a workout? Um, 
hockey or track that really stands out as, oh, man, this is going to be a really hard workout? Um, not really. Most of the workouts we did for track, we did for hockey as well, so we've been oh. used to them. Okay. Stuff. In hockey, what we do a lot for a dry run is that like, we would actually be like squatting and like we'd be shuffling around the entire ring. And we'd also do skater jumps like that, which is a good fun I work out, especially for hockey. <laughs> that sounds intense. I don't know if I'd like that. Um, hey, so once again, we didn't get a chance to try out too many events. Um, maybe what events were you guys hoping um, to do for track? Were you hoping to do some jumping, some sprinting, long distance, pole vault? What were you thinking? I was going to do relay races. That's mm -hmm. what I was signed up for and short distance running. Uh, I don't know what Keanu was. Oh, well, yeah, I think the relays would be fun. And then, like, for me, like, long jumping would be, like, fun also. Either the triple jump or just a long jump. I'm not sure it's fun. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Um, hey, um, is there, this is kind of your guys' platform to share what, what you'd like to share about your experience. Um, do you have any advice for people thinking about going off for track, people that are, are new to track, those kind of things, any words of wisdom you'd like to pass on? I would say if you're like worried that you aren't going to be welcomed, like, they may look tough, but they're really not. They're really stuck on the inside. I know facts based off my experience that they're going to welcome, welcome you in, like family. They're going to encourage you on instead of put you down. Yeah, for me, it's like, if you, if like even if like you're just thinking about going for it, like, just go for it because like there really are no consequences. And like if you don't want to do it, you can just like – not necessarily like drop out like i would just continue through the year because like you'll benefit from it like it'll be look good on your resume you'll get more in shape and you'll make new friends so like honestly just go for it okay all right um uh specifically for zach here uh zach what do you plan on doing next year well i'm going to college i'm going okay. to dunwoody cities okay i was uh, filling out a form for housing before this um That'll probably take up most of my time. I'm probably gonna have to get a job as well. Okay. I, we won't have much free time to do what I like, so there's that as well. Do you um, do you know what you want to major in yet? Uh, architecture. Oh, okay, good, good. That'll be that'll be good. Um, and then hey, last question here. Um. And maybe we'll change yours just a little bit. Um, something that you'll miss, kind of in your experience as a as a student. Um. Moving on to college is a nice next step, and I feel like everyone's kind of ready for it. Um, is, there, is there something about high school or about sports in general that you think you'll miss? Probably my friends and the people I met along the way. That's why I was really looking forward to uh, the Disney trip, like mm. one last trip. Yeah. With, and even the uh, Smash trip to an extent, even though not many people are going on that one, and in our great at least. Yeah. And I was kind of upset and disappointed that some of the events on our – Senior trip got canceled, but yeah. I still have fun. There's nothing you can do about it. No, and you guys did a really nice job of making the most out of out of all of that. So, well, hey, anything else that you guys you guys would like to add today? Not really. I guess I just wish that this wasn't happening, so I could get to have the full experience. My sister will get it if she signs up for next year, but yeah. I'm just glad I up for the little bit that I got to do. Yeah, you guys are definitely, and kids everywhere, are making some big-time sacrifices um, for the good of society right now. And you guys are handling it well, and we appreciate it. Okay. So, well, hey, thanks for thanks for taking some time and sitting down with me. I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause here.